I'm Heidi and I'm speaking here with Dave. Dave, how can becoming a power user or behaving like a power user impact performance when working in AutoCAD? Well, one of the things that power users notice, and this is true not only of AutoCAD but of Word, of Excel, is that the smaller the file you're working with, the faster it is to work with. Uh, this has nothing to do with hardware, has nothing to do with the speed of the applications that are being developed, it's just that small equals fast. Smaller things equal faster performance. So if we open up universe.dwg, yeah, it's going to go slowly. But if we open up only what we care about, things are going to be screaming. So power users actually have figured this out, that if we bust things up into manageable pieces, it might be by uh, maybe only the layers we care about instead of having all the layers there, or only the region of the drawing that we care about instead of the entire drawing, or only the entities we care about instead of all the entities. We can bust those up into pieces and say, this is what I care about, this is what I don't, put this over here and guard it. Now open only this smaller piece. What happens? We get all this speed, we get all this performance back, right? And when you're done, you just go ahead and grab that huge blob of stuff you didn't care about and insert it back and explode it, and you're, and you're back to where you left off, but you've gotten speed. The same thing would be true with something like Word. You wouldn't want to open open book.doc, you know, or docx, but if you had chapter 1.docx, chapter 2.docx, right, each of those chapters is going to be moving a lot faster than trying to work with the whole book, especially when it comes time to spell check. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Good point. Good yeah. analogy. Yeah, you know, so I mean, that's just what we notice, uh, and it's interesting. Power users look at those kinds of things like, okay, maybe I don't have the money to invest in a faster piece of hardware, you know, but how are those guys out there in the mines with a 100 meg drawing going so fast? they figured out how to bust it up into bite-sized pieces. And so, you know, we put that basic principle to work for us, small equals fast. And there are all sorts of ways that we can do that, too. For example, if you're drawing a bunch of trees, does it really pay to draw every leaf? <laughs> okay, <laughs> you know, uh, maybe you want that on the final plot, right? But boy, is that going to slow down your work with it. Maybe it pays to, to save that tree out as a block somewhere safe and redefine it temporarily as just a circle from the same insertion point with the same rotation. Now what happens? A billion trees in your drawing spray very quickly and you get to work. When it's all said and done, you reinsert that complicated version of the tree back in with the equal sign after the name. You get all those beautiful leaves back for the plot, right? But you got performance for the amount of time you were working with it by shrinking it down to only what you need. And so small equals fast happens not only on the basic raw data that's being worked on, but by the techniques that you're using and the understanding you have of how these products work with the data. Those are some great tips. I like that analogy of substituting, or the example of substituting the tree. Yeah, block you're right, redefinition. And a lot of us, I think, do get kind of tied up in the details and want to show every little thing. Right, or, we or we're thinking or about the plot stage, even though we're at the design stage. You know, another great example of this, too, is fonts. Maybe you want a really nice-looking font with true type font, right? But boy, does it slow things down when you're trying to show, you know, show fancy notes and stuff, right? Why not jump over to a monotext or a simplex font, a little old 8-bit font that screams with all your specifications, get back to work, and then when you're ready to plot, redefine that font, you know, in the style, and that's right? Just a couple seconds worth of work redefining it. Right. right, it's a system variable in some cases, right? Just a simple toggle and you get all that speed for nothing, you know, so. Good. Thank you for sharing that. We're going to have power users coming out of our ears here. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> you know, they're going to be chopping things up into interesting that's pieces. That's right. <laughs>